Shabbat Shalom. In this week's parasha, parasha Shemot, we start the next book of the Torah. And it is a fantastic story about the birth of Moses. We're going to read about the plagues. We're going to read about the saving of the Jewish people, the events of Mount Sinai, the construction of the first Mishkan. What an amazing and powerful book. But it all begins with the birth of a miraculous child. And this child is born, is dependent upon so many other people's chesed, so many people's kindness. It begins even before his birth, when Pharaoh makes a decree to kill all the little boys. And his father, Amram, separates from his wife, Yocheved, and says, we cannot have any children anymore. And the Medrash describes how little Miriam comes to her father and says, Abba, you're worse than King Pharaoh, because King Pharaoh has only decreed against the men. You've decreed against the girls as well. And who knows, maybe the next child that could have been yours could be the Redeemer. And, she, and he consents. He listens to his daughter. He goes back to his wife, and they have the child born named we don't know. It doesn't actually say in the Torah what his name was. He goes, the child is born, and after three months, Yochevet, the mother, is forced to place the child into the Nile River. What would be with this child? And then the worst possible person to find the child happens upon the basket. The daughter of Pharaoh, the daughter of the despot and the murderer, opens up the basket, sees a child, and says, This is a Jewish child. But unlike her father, she saves the little boy, has him nursed and brought to her, and raises him up as a prince. Moses is saved by the kindness of others. And Moses will grow up to be the great redeemer. And later on, even after he, he say he's appointed by God, he travels down to Egypt. And we have the strange story about the Malon, where after being at a tax Moses, and it's his wife Zipporah who saves him. Three women have saved him. There's another two, Shifra and Pua, who allowed for the Jewish babies to be born. All these are the side characters pave the way for our Moses. And here is the very important lesson. There is no such thing as a person that is self-made. It's impossible. Every single one of us are who we are because of other people's kindness towards us. The person that gave us the chance, the person who opened the door for us, the person who raised us, the person who cared for us and fed us. And too often, we are blinded by our own success and focus only upon the one that is successful and not to all the others in the background, the background characters who have done so much and without whom this person could never be. So the challenge of Parashat Shmot and the challenge for all of us is to just peg ourselves down a little bit in all our successes and to learn the arts of Hakaratov, being thankful for those who've gone before us, those who have paved the way for us, those who have believed in us, those who have trusted us and given us the chance to be who we are. And the most important thing is to never forget them. There are countless stories of successful people who have then gone back and supported those in need. Be that person. I always remember the following story. A little boy is caught in a rip, cast out to sea. The mother screaming. A stranger takes off his shirt, dives into the water, rescues the boy, brings him back to shore. And says, and, uh, and when the child recovers, the child looks at him and says, how can I ever repay you? And he responds, make sure that your life was worth saving. It is the little people, the supposed little people, that allow us to achieve greatness. For without them, we would never be. The Parsha of Shemot teaches us this important principle. Let's apply it to our own lives and let us share 
our love and appreciation and gratitude for those who have made us whom we are. Shabbat Shalom.